I am Gian Leslie El Duhina from Section B15 of ECA 111, Communications 1, Principles of Communication Systems. Radiation is a type of energy that can travel through space. Sometimes, it travels in the form of a wave. That is called an electromagnetic radiation. When it travels as a beam of fast-moving particles, it is called a particle radiation. Electromagnetic radiation, or EMR, consists of waves. The waves contain electric and magnetic energy. The electromagnetic spectrum, or EMS, includes different types of energy waves. At one end of the spectrum, there are very low energy waves. Radio waves are an example of low energy waves. At the other end of the spectrum, there are very high energy waves. Gamma rays are an example of high energy waves. Frequency and wavelength are used to describe EMR. Frequency refers to the number of waves per second. Wavelength refers to the distance between two adjacent wave peaks. The higher a wave's frequency, the shorter its wavelength. For example, gamma rays have a very small wavelength and very high frequency. There are seven natural forms of EMR. Gamma rays have the highest energy and shortest wavelength. Then comes X-ray, ultraviolet light, visible light, infrared radiation, and microwave radiation. Finally, radio waves have the lowest energy and longest wavelength. The process of communication involves the transmission of information from one location to another. Modulation is used to encode the information onto a carrier wave and may involve analog or digital methods. It is only the characteristics of the carrier wave which determine how the signal will propagate over any significant distance. An electronic wave is created by a local disturbance in the electric and magnetic fields. From its origin, the wave will propagate outwards in all directions. If the medium in which it is propagating, air for example, is the same everywhere, the wave will spread out uniformly in all directions. When a plane wave encounters a change in medium, some or all of it may propagate into the new medium or be reflected from it. The part that enters the new medium is called the transmitted portion and the other the reflected portion. When the wave enters the new medium, the speed of propagation will change. In order to match the incident and transmitted wave at the boundary, the transmitted wave will change its direction of propagation. For example, if the new medium has a higher index of refraction, which means the speed of propagation is lower, the wavelength will become shorter, or frequency must stay the same because of the boundary conditions. For the transmitted wave, to match the incident wave at the boundary, the direction of propagation of transmitted wave must be closer to perpendicular. Electromagnetic radiation is an electric and magnetic disturbance traveling through space at the speed of light of 2.998 times 10 raised to 8 meters per second. It contains neither mass nor charge but travels in packets of radiant energy called photons or quanta. Examples of EM radiation include radio waves and microwaves, as well as infrared, ultraviolet, gamma, and x-rays. Some sources of EM radiation include sources in the cosmos, example, the sun and stars, radioactive elements, and manufactured devices. EM exhibits a dual wave and particle nature. The optical operation of which is modified by changing the optical properties refraction, birefringence, absorption, nonlinear susceptibility of the medium of the devices.
the term optical applies not only to visible light but also to ultraviolet, infrared radiation, or terahertz radiation. The following optical elements are therefore covered thermo-optical elements, electro-optic elements, magneto-optic elements, elasto-optic elements, acousto-optic elements, liquid crystal devices, electrochromic elements, electrophoretic elements, nonlinear optics, that is devices or arrangement in which the electric or magnetic field component of the light beam influences the optical properties of the medium. Control of light beams by electromagnetic waves, example, radio waves or electrons, or other elementary particles. Demodulating light, the transferring the modulation of modulated light that is transferring the information from one optical carrier of a first wavelength to a second optical carrier of a second wavelength. In radio communication systems, we use wireless electromagnetic waves as the channel. The antennas of different specifications can be used for these purposes. The mode of propagation of electromagnetic waves in the atmosphere and in free space may be divided into the following three categories. The line of sight, LOS propagation, ground wave propagation, and sky wave propagation. Among the modes of propagation, the line of sight propagation is commonly noticed. In the line of sight communication, as the name implies, the wave travels a minimum distance of sight, which means it travels to the distance up to which a naked eye can see. Then we need to employ an amplifier and transmitter here to amplify the signal and transmit again. The line of sight propagation will not be smooth if there are occurs any obstacle in its transmission path. As the signal can travel only to lesser distances in this mode, this transmission is used for infrared or microwave transmissions. Ground wave propagation of the wave follows the contour of the earth. Such a wave is called a direct wave. The wave sometimes bends due to the earth's magnetic field and gets reflected the receiver. Such a wave can be termed as a reflected wave. The wave then propagates the Earth's atmosphere is known as a ground wave. The direct wave and reflected wave together contribute the signal at the receiver station. When the wave finally reaches the receiver, the lags are cancelled out. In addition, the signal is filtered to avoid distortion and amplified for clear output. The waves which are transmitted from the transmitter antenna are reflected from the ionosphere. It consists of several layers of charged particles ranging in altitude from 30 to 250 miles above the Earth's surface. Such travel of the wave from the transmitter to the ionosphere and from there to the receiver on Earth is known as sky wave propagation. The ionosphere is the ionized layer around the Earth's atmosphere which is suitable for skywave propagation.